All right, let's discuss the background. Our institution is the Florida Institute of Technology, or Florida Tech, located in the beautiful sunny Melbourne, Florida. We are a private STEM research institution with an FTE of about 4,400 students. We also have an online program, Florida Tech Online, with an FTE of about the same. Now we have always had a four credit information literacy course offered in the face-to-face -face format on our campus that has been in the control of librarians since the early 1980s. This course is called COM 2012 Research Sources and Systems. There are multiple face-to-face -face sections of this course offered every semester, as it is a required course for several majors on our campus. Now, my predecessors, being the forward thinkers that they were, utilized a standardized test called the sales test to gauge information literacy achievement in the course while they employed the ACRL standards. After I transitioned the course to align with the new ACRL framework for information literacy for higher education, I began using a new test called the Threshold Achievement Test for Information Literacy. Now the Tattle Test uh, I used in my face-to-face -face sections uh, with great success for several academic years. Um, and I was starting to begin experimenting with the idea of using a pre and post test model with this Tattle Test. Now at the end of the spring 2019 semester, my colleague Wanda Perez and I were charged with moving our course curriculum online in order to offer an online section of our on-campus course for the fall 2019 semester. Now this would not be a course through Florida Tech online. This would just be an online section of our face-to-face -face course for our on-campus students. Now, uh, our biggest question when we were asked to do this was, what does this mean for testing? How will we utilize our Tattle test in person in this new online environment? 